Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Collectibles. It's Keenagak again, or Jurassic Collector, and today I am going to be reviewing the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Velociraptor by Mattel. Now, I believe this is supposed to be the Lost World Velociraptor, so it, it looks really good. It looks pretty similar to it as well. So, let's get a closer look at the packaging. Up here in the right hand corner, we have the left hand corner, we have a, a render of Rexy there, Jurassic World Legacy Collection, and the gates some like leaves in that and we have the velociraptor herself then we have some images of the attack which is a jumping feature velociraptor for tree plus jurassic world legacy collection jurassic world legacy collection and here's the back of the package now this raptor here in the back looks amazing this looks just like the one pulled straight out of the lost world movie it looks so accurate Unfortunately, they didn't go with that paint scheme. Gonna score legacy collection. You can see if you push down, it jumps. Uh, Velociraptor forward leap. Jurassic World Fax app. Mattel Canada. All that good stuff. Then here we have um, 2017 Mattel and all of that information there. That's useful to nobody. Universal Mattel and there is the barcode. Don't know what's on that. There's the barcode if you want to scan that in and see does your store have it. So, without any further ado, let's get this out of the package. Okay, so here is the figure out of the package. Now, she looks phenomenal. Like, oh, the scope, the detail, the paint job is incredible. So, let's take a closer look at her, shall we? I say we shall. So, there's her face. As you can see, the detail is absolutely incredible. And we have the nice like eye there, the eyes painted really nice. The detail on the snout of the figure is incredible. The mouth, the teeth are individually sculpted but weirdly. They're not actual like there, they're just like in the plastic kind of sculpted. The teeth are like there, but they're all kind of one piece and they're kind of orange from this, which is that's the only disappoint like one of the only disappointing facts about this figure. Although the tongue is nicely painted, the roof of the mouth lacks any paint. So we have the nice like dark orange and then like a brown kind of striping there. Then we have like a nice like light yellow or kind of like a light orange even. And it has some like more brown striping. The, the arms are a solid orange, which I'm not a huge fan of. I wish they had a paint in the arms to coincide kind of like go like smoothly with this instead of just a solid orange color. So that's one of the other only flaws. Paint the sculpt on this is really nice as well. As you see, the head is so much detail, but the body lacks a little bit of detail, but it makes up for it. It looks really good. Some really nice creases and folds there. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so the detail on the leg is a little bit lacking, but it's still really nice. Some nice orange paint, and the feet, the toe claws, and this is there. So we have the sickle claw, and that's painted nicely as well. Um, feet are like a gummier material, like super duper gummy compared to the body's higher plastic. Feet are humongous as well. So the tail there, we have nice yellow, white, fades into white, and then the brown striping continues to nearly the end of the tail. The white continues the whole way. On their body is really nice again. It is like this white kind of color. It looks really good. It's like a creamy white. It's not pure, pure white. There's the Jurassic World logo, which is, the, you know, the new Mattel toy right there. I like that. And there's the Jurassic Facts app. Scan it in there and you can get the Velociraptor in your app if you really want it. Alright, so I feel like I've covered like most things about this Velociraptor. So let's go on to articulation now. So, the articulation wise, the head can move up and down. So it looks really good and it can turn like 360. So you can have it like, you know, like looking at you like that. And the mouth can open as well. So you can have it like looking, look really cool poses. Have it look up or down towards you really great the arms can move completely 360 like that and they can also move in and out because they have drawn that ball joint again like all the other figures in this line see it has that slit thing there that it can make allow it to move up and down and 360. the thing about the arms the arms are super duper gummy as you can see like super gummy so that's uh it's fine though it's not a problem for me that's really it for articulation. Uh, the legs can't be posed because they're 
they're part of the like action feature so once you try and put them like that they spring back so they're not posable but uh, I'll show you the action fit, uh, gimmick now anyways so we're just going to use the young t-rex as a victim of attack and we're going to have the velociraptor attack it so you put it back on its feet like that you push down on its just behind its head on its back area and you let go and it, it jumps and attacks like that I don't know some I don't know people think it's pretty lame I think it's really cool I don't know like when you have a human or that it can like attack the human I should have bring in Chris Pratt and attacking him or if, uh, if I had Robert Muldoon just like attack him that would be super duper cool I really hope to make a Velociraptor out of Jurassic Park though because this event is out of the Lost World so yeah but anyways that's the action feature, so, you know, it just has that jumping feature. Some people said it doesn't work. Mine's working fine, so. Maybe they're expecting something different, I don't know. So let's go on to some comparisons now. Here's the, obviously, as you saw a minute ago. Lost World, Young T-Rex. There they are, by side by side. There's a top view of them both. That raptor looks so menacing. It looks really good sculpt. And here it is compared to the Pachycephalosaurus. So I'll put this out here. She says that pretty well. They are in scale, I would say. Front view. Top view. And here is the Pteranodon from Jurassic Park 3. Which is also, I also reviewed on the channel here. Top view, side view. Sorry, it's gonna do a turn it on side view. Okay, so here it is compared to the Kenner Jurassic Park uh, electronic screaming raptor. So they're not really in scale. I mean, it could work, kind of, but yeah, like the front wise. Overview, top view. I feel like proportions wise and sculpt wise, definitely the Mattel one is a lot better than the Kenner one. Probably gonna be a popular opinion, but I didn't really well. I didn't grow up with the Kenner stuff, so it's not nostalgia based for me. I just it looks cool. This is not not that this looks bad. It doesn't. Just this one looks a lot more like a Velociraptor, even though this one's feet, this one's feet were too small. Like that's just a joke. And then these are just a joke again because they're just humongous. But they stand. Like, no problem. That's never, ever going to have trouble standing. Pack yourself a source of view there. I can guarantee it's never going to have trouble standing because it's such a big feet. Um, but I think, I don't know, I think the big feet don't look that bad in person. So here it is compared to Velociraptor Blue from Hasbro. This is the Basher Bite of Velociraptor Blue. This is just apps. It's looking, comparing them, this is disgusting. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not joking. It just is. Uh, proportions wise like the feet in this are a lot better but I can't couldn't stand I don't believe the arms are just weird on this one really elongated so there's that like this just looks like a velociraptor this just looks like McDonald's like look this is not shiny at all this plastic nowhere shiny this is just shine 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 so bad this is mint in box so again I can't open it because I got the mint in box for three years top view they're about the same length. And front view. That one kicks that stuff out of the park. That Hasbro stuff's just a disgrace. Let's compare it to the Indoraptor. So, uh, if this is any kind of size for scaling, this Indoraptor is humongous in the movie. Then look at that size difference. This is, again, one of my favorite toys. I mentioned that in the last video. It's so cool. It's so poseable. It's incredible. Anyways, their size comparisons, so much bigger than the Indoraptor. Even though I'm not a huge fan of hybrids, I just, this Indoraptor toy like made me love it because it just looks so good. And then this side, and then overview, slash top view. Okay, I know we're not comparing it to a T-Rex. Okay, I'll, I'll compare it to a T-Rex quickly. So, here it is compared to a T-Rex. This is, I also reviewed this in the channel. Make sure to go and check that video out. Okay, so here's them side by side. 
for in view, I can't really move the T-Rex any closer to the camera lens. And like that, so I would say that they are in scale because this is the younger Rexy from Jurassic Park. This figure, a 9 out of 10. It is my favourite figure. It's probably my favourite figure out of the whole Mattel range. Well, maybe, I don't know. It's definitely my favourite out of the Legacy collection anyways because it's so incredible. I know it's big feet in that and this actually a lot of people hate this one. Don't know why. I really, really like it like so much. It's, I just, I don't know. I just love it. Um, it looks really good. It looks, uh, I don't know. I just, it's incredible. Um, I would highly recommend you to pick this up. This retails for 12 99 in euros, 9 99 in pounds and 9 99 in US dollars as well. For an incredible figure. For this price, it really is incredible. It looks so good. So I would highly recommend, it, as I said, pick this guy up if you see her in stores she is an exclusive to smiths in the united kingdom slash ireland and she's also an exclusive to target in the usa not sure about countries elsewhere i don't know if you'll be getting them or not or what country will, what stores will have them exclusively i'm sure somewhere will have them but they're the only two stores that i know that actually do have these I did I review this one last so we go out with a bang so if you did enjoy this video make sure to like this video subscribe down below to Jurassic Collectibles and also hit the notification bell so you'll be up notified every time he uploads a new awesome video. This is probably the last Jurassic World figure that I will be reviewing on Jurassic Collectibles and it has been such an honour so thank you so much Jurassic Collectibles for letting me review these it really has been an honour I've had so much fun so thank you. It has been, as I said, an honor, and I'm just super chuffed that I got the chance. So, thank you guys for watching my reviews. I hope you enjoyed my five reviews that I did. If you have not seen them, I have reviewed the Legacy Collection T-Rex, the Pachycephalosaurus, Pteranodon, the Young T-Rex, and now this awesome figure. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Keen signing out with Jurassic Collectibles. Thanks for watching my reviews, and thanks for watching Jurassic Collectibles. And Jurassic Collectibles, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.